The following project is part of a joint research effort by KU Leuven and the Optentia Research Focus Area and is funded by the Flemish Inter-University Board. The JOBS program has been successfully implemented in several countries around the globe. A research team from Optentia, in collaboration with KU Leuven, have over the past year been working on adapting, implementing and evaluating the JOBS program within the South African context. The South African version is called Kubukela Pambili, a Zulu phrase that means moving forward. We have many programs in South Africa uh, and particularly uh, in this Val area where we are, uh, focusing on people who are unemployed and helping them. But many of these programs focus on vocational skills and entrepreneurial skills, whereas I think uh, considering the consequences, we need a, a bit of a psychosocial per, uh, perspective working with these people. We've seen that 30% of these people haven't been employed for, for over five years, whereas another 26% of the people um, haven't worked between two and five years. It is fair to, to, um, to say that these people are really discouraged and demotivated. Some of the participants shared their experiences. Being unemployed as a youth is like you are in prison in South Africa. It's stressful, it strains you because in most things that you want to, to have, you have to have money and you don't have it. You got a lot of time, uh, of which it's sometimes not good, because time without income is like it's useless. I would say, you feel like you don't deserve to be in other people in a certain uh, group of people. There are a certain friends that you should associate yourself with, which are those ones who are not working. The ones that are working, they would be dressed very smart, and you see, yeah, that's, those are things. No, no, no young man deserves to be unemployed. If I, if I just had to be honest, especially when, when you have to, when you have a child that you have to look after, when you have a family, even your own siblings, you know, when you find in a house, even the siblings, no one works and everybody is dependent on the, on the pension grant. With, with, with increased gangsterism and, and other things, they, they, their minds are not channeled into um, focusing on finding employment, for example. Their minds are not channeled into um, trying to do something with their lives. Uh, the township of Pipato, yes. It's a scattered township near Vanderbilt Park. Yeah, there's less opportunities, yeah, plenty of political stuff there going on. It, it's very difficult. There's nothing that's easy here. You know, there's a whole lot of us that live here, but there's nothing that's easy for anyone. I mean, even people that even went to school, have got their degrees, even they're still sitting at home, they're not working. It's evident that there, 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 there needs to be something done. And um, it has to come from all structures and um, parties involved. I think one of the most important parts of the program is really helping them to feel confident again. You um, saw that a lot of the participants really don't believe in themselves anymore and um, that was one of the things that really grow during the program. When, when you tell people to kubege la pambili, you tell them to, to be persistent, you tell them to, to not, not, not to ever give up. As children, as we grow up, we grow up having dreams, then along the way, uh, we found ourselves in certain situations that makes us forget our dreams. So the purpose of Kubega La Pambil is to awaken those dreams that we had. Uh, I felt like when we were in the program, um, many participants started gaining confidence. Um, they started having humor, they started um, enjoying it, which is what we wanted. Kobeka Pambele sparked that little spark again, you know, to say that you can continue. Kobeka Pambele, carry on, you know, keep your head up, chin up, keep smiling, keep motivated, you'll get somewhere. Um, and the effects of that, they were actively looking for jobs after that. And some said, well, we didn't get the jobs we wanted, but at least 
because the program had prepped us that we won't get everything, um, but we can also um, keep doing, keep applying and keep searching for jobs. Every day when I got up to go to the program, when I came back, I used to always just remind myself, we're going to go back up and be, whatever disappointment that you might get, go back up and be. It does not really matter. Uh, assisted me in finding myself, discovering myself. We provide the participants with a safe environment where they are unconditionally accepted for who they are and uh, trust is being built so the participants really feel that they can relate to both the facilitators and the other group members as peers and uh, people who are also unemployed. Um, unemployed people often feel isolated. Um, they feel like what they're experiencing is something that no one else experiences. But when they are in the room with people who also have the same experiences, um, the social support within that room um, tended to be very crucial. The, the, the role of the group was to work together and learn not to be selfish. You must give information that you have to other people. If I have something that you do not have, I must help you to have it. The most important was to making networking with some people around me to share the ideas with them, take their work and my work train and talk everything. For one participant, the program had an amazingly positive outcome. She went from being unemployed to opening and operating her own hair salon. Well, my name is Mashodi Mailula. I'm a very young, passionate girl from Wipadong. I did my metric in 2012, went to do my IT certificate in Mill Park. I'm an entrepreneur. I didn't know that I can do it until I met the team from Kubekela Pambili. Um, I'm a mother of two. Um, I'm very determined, hardworking, and forever joyful. Yeah, if you open a business, maybe it's a start that you show that you are hungry. Yeah, you can fight against poverty. Even after the program has passed so long, they're still having that um, the willingness to, to, to learn more, the willingness to obtain more, and the willingness to, 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 um, to improve their current um, state of, of living. The, 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 the handouts that they gave us, I'm still using them even now, because they have uh, information that is helping me even now. The only thing that I would change is that uh, it's not changing as such, it's adding. Yeah. Yes, I would like you uh, to have connections with the funding yes, companies, the, invest, the investors, the universities, so that we know that Kubegela Pambili would help us doing this after the program. We know that if I want to apply, Kubegela Pambili is there to help me, to assist me with anything that I'm going to need. I think one of the things that would be very helpful is if we have um, trainers in the future that actually also have done the program. So people that have experienced unemployment themselves and that now can take the next step to help others. As an industrial psychologist, I think it's really important that we are aware of these psychological consequences. I would suggest uh, combining these types of programs, the vocational training and typically working with the CETAs with um, such a motivational component uh, to make sure that the participants gain optimally from, from the program.